Do you think you should start a blog for your business? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to give you my feelings on the subject. Hey, it's Philip here, the Curly Marketer. You're very welcome. Today's Curly Marketer tip. I know it's been a while. Um, work has been really busy. That's always good news. And I've been consuming all of the content from, you know, great supporters of mine and people that I really admire and respect. You know, we have Ben Travis, who is knocking it out of the park on LinkedIn with some great videos. You've know, got John Aspirian, who is really becoming a thought leader when it comes to LinkedIn. Uh, Desmond Dreckus, you know, Twitter expert, great stuff that he's posting. I've got great people like uh, Maiden Panella, who is uh, dropping fantastic content and sharing great stuff. And uh, then, of course, I can't overlook you know, both Daniel Lowton from KPS Digital and Andrew and Pete from andrewandpete.com who provide not only fantastic content, but great humor and great video content as well. So, um, so yeah, so I've been consuming all of these people's content and, uh, you know, um, not putting thought into my own. But I thought today is the day, you get back on the saddle and start uh, the world is in motion for the curly marketer tips again. Now today I asked a question about, you know, should you start a blogging for business? Because uh, I believe it's uh, a subject that's on every business's um, mind. Um, and when you look at, I suppose, the stats at the moment, uh, you're looking at potentially 2 million upwards blog posts going out every single day. It's quite incredible. You know, when I read that statistic, uh, I was actually blown away because you're kind of then suddenly um, go into your logical mode and you think, there's no way that my blog post is ever going to be seen. Two million blog posts uh, plus, along with all of the videos and the tweets and the Facebook posts and the Instagram stories, etc., etc., etc. So I can totally get it. I totally understand that business will kind of go and say, it's a waste of time. Uh, why put kind of uh, time and energy into it, will our post will never be seen. But I suppose what I would be saying to you is there's a couple of reasons why I feel businesses will really benefit from writing a blog. I think the first thing is it allows you to instantly, through writing and through contents that you put via a blog on your website, to project your brand, your message, you know, your ethos, what you stand for, um, it's a lovely way to, I suppose, engage with your audience on the problems and I suppose the queries and the solutions that they're looking for, you know, and by way of producing a blog that can tap into those concerns, um, requirements from your audience, you're then putting yourself forward as being the expert, the thought leader, someone who can proactively and in a very simple kind of engaging sort of way, um, liaise with a customer, and there's my dog, saying hello. Um, you see, keeping it real, folks, keeping it real. But um, but yeah, customers, you know, research is definitely coming out that people now, you know, your customer, my customer, our audiences, they're a lot more savvy, they're more educated, they're much more savvy online, and they will go and they will consume three to five pieces of content on various people that they're considering I'd maybe doing a piece of business with or to purchase from to see, you know, look at this. They're looking at testimonials, but they're also looking at the content. You know, what type of expertise do these guys really know what they're talking about? Uh, case studies, blog post formats for how to's and, you know, best practice, etc. So I think having a blog for business to put forward your thought leadership, your brand credentials is very, very important. I think another thing is, is that Google, still wants companies to put out highly valuable, you know, updated content. We all want our web pages, our websites to be ranked higher and higher. And I do believe that once you optimize and you do proper keyword research and you look at your SEO and you're producing content that is of high quality, um, that is definitely going to be linked to and shared by your customers and by other authoritative sites, it will benefit your web page ranking. So if you do it properly, it has many, many benefits for business. But I suppose one critical benefit, which you never hear people talk about is, and I think this is a fundamental thing, and whether you're a business or you're a solo blogger, I think this is one of the fundamental real advantages for doing blogging, is the very fact that before you can write any sort of blog post, what do you have to do? You have to do the research. You know, if you want to do a blog post to tackle an issue for your customers. 
Well, you have to do the research into your market, into the industry. Talk to some of your customers. Like, what are the deep concerns that they have? Is it over maybe, for example, did they have concerns around GDPR? How was it going to affect them on their, their data and their privacy policies? Well, for those companies that were writing real authoritative kind of guides and addressing all these fears, I've no doubt that they suddenly kind of built a further bridge of trust and transparency with their customers because they were answering the problems and addressing the fears. And another great thing is the fact is that as you're doing all this research to write a post about whatever topic it could be, you know, let me give myself as an example. You know, as I go to write further blog posts to then do videos, I have to do the research. I can't just kind of sit in front of the camera here and try and make it up. You know, it doesn't work like that. So when I go down the line, and I suppose my future vision for where I take the Curly Marketer Tips is that I'm going to do a section, for example, say on blogging, you know, we'll get to a point where we've drilled down kind of everything so that we have a number of videos on blogging so people can go use that as a research and start to blog really professionally. But then I'm going to move on to, to Facebook and we'll drill down through Facebook. We'll drill down on Twitter, on Instagram, etc., etc., etc. So that as we're building up this archive, what's happening is that myself and my community, you know, we're learning, we're self-learning. And that's the critical thing is that when you write a blog post, all of that research, you're learning and you're re-educating. And I think that's critical for every business. You know, the very nature that you have to delve down and find out what are the critical things, what's happening in your industry before you can produce that blog post gives you insights that you might not necessarily have come across before you actually went on your blogging journey. I think just one final thing to remember with a blog is that it's very, very easy. Now, what I say about that is it's not like video. Like I know managing directors and CEOs, if you say to them, go on, we'll listen, sit in the chair there, I'm gonna do a video of you. They'd be petrified, they'll run out of the room. Now I'm comfortable with video and I know a lot of other people are, but there's some people who are petrified where a blog is not as daunting, you know, and especially you have someone that can help you with it. Um, it's a lovely entryway to start. And the beauty of a blog is that there's so many repurposing options. You can turn it into an ebook that you could proactively email to your customers. So if you've got customers who may not necessarily be on social or may not be the type that engages on a website, but they might engage with maybe a report or an ebook that you've turned or created from the blog post and hence create maybe a proactive starting of a conversation. You could then obviously turn the blog post into multiple tweets if you're on social, a Facebook post, an Instagram story, you could turn it into a video. So I think my feeling is businesses, you do need to be blogging. Um, do it in a strategic manner, but I think it's a very important thing to, to have. I hope you enjoyed that Curly Marketer tip. I'm over there on Twitter at P. Twyford. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please send me a connection request. Uh, I'm over on the curlymarketer.com is the website. And I will be back soon, I promise, with another Curly Marketer tip. Take care.